Hi guys, it's December 9th, so that means it's Vlogmas Day 9. I think I'm going to join like two days together because I didn't really do anything the whole of this day. I basically stayed in bed and arranged my life. But right now, I just came out to eat with what's your name again? King Shigi. You want to tell them about your podcast? Oh, yeah, podcast extraordinary. You know the vibes, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff coming soon. Clothing like coming, what else? Foundation coming. I mean, foundation okay. is here because we're okay. later, so okay. you already know, you know the vibes. <laughs> Yeah, so she's oh, no, no, turn it back, turn it back. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all the uh, YouTuber ad libs. I got you, sir. Thank you. Like you said, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, everything. Yeah, he has a podcast. You guys should listen yeah. to it. They have interesting conversations on his podcast. Anyway, we came to Danfo Bistro. Who's so that? So I'm here with Shiji like, oh, and <laughs> Babe. So I just came from Morisha. <laughs> Are you actually doing that? Stop doing that. Okay, do it again, do it again, do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> You're so awkward. <laughs> so we came to Daffo Bistro. You know, the famous place that has the you know, going bread and beans, whatever. It's cute here though. Guess what? This is one of those places that, like, sorry, we don't allow cameras here. So, I'm never coming back here again. Just. What kind of cute stuff is that? They do all this stuff. It doesn't make any cameras. sense. Like. You know that's your marketing. <laughs> literally, like, it doesn't make any sense. We already expected this in almost every place I was going to go to anyway. So. Yeah. So I. Yeah, I got the. How am I always getting in the YouTube? Can I taste your drink, babe? Yeah, sure. Are you always? Are you always? So at Danfo Bistro, we got a platter just for four of us. We got chicken fingers, we got suya music, which is like meat pie. <laughs> we got Danfo fish cakes and we got the Greek akara that came with like a Greek sauce. Our total was like 24,000 something, so almost like eight or 9,000 between each of us. And that was reasonably priced. So the next day, I actually went with my mom to buy new furniture and we went to this place called design sense and all their furniture is actually made in nigeria and they re look really really good we ended up buying one of the couches for our house and yeah like they're made in nigeria and it's really good quality so my mom is dragging me to this place that has healthy cake it's called blossom preserved by nature so at this cafe they have healthy cakes or like healthy muffins and stuff so my mom and i got carrot cake and then i ended up getting a cold pressed juice that had orange pineapple and ginger and it was really really good next i decided to go to the henna place because i wanted to get sugaring done the henna place is like a traditional northern experience basically and i'm telling you guys this place was so cute like so cute and i would also say their services were pretty amazing they were very professional i had booked an appointment before i went there and they kept the time yeah so even though i was late for my appointment they were really accommodating and they were able to fit me in the place is like a house kind of so they have like different rooms where they do different things but it was a really nice experience all in all so i came to the henna place to try to like get sugary waxing done it's actually really nice and like traditional in here it's like a traditional northern experience basically so i'll show you guys like what everything is looking like but right now i'm in this like small looking so i'm currently in this room and then they have this and they have like the laid down for you or whatever so let's get waxed So 
one oh, seems like it's going to be very painful though. Oh wow. <laughs> you guys, I am, can you see the way I'm sweating? I'm mid sugaring and I am in pain. Like pain. This shit hurts, okay? This hurts more than waxing. So next week Sunday, I actually have a volunteering event that I registered for. So I just went with a few of my friends to check out the place and to speak to people in the Makoko community to see what their needs are and how we can help the community basically because their living conditions, if I'm being very honest, is not exactly the best. Like it's a very underdeveloped community. Most of them live on water some of them live on land the kids don't go to school they don't know how to speak english so yeah we just decided to go there talk to a few of the guys to see like you know how we can help and to see how we would be able to you know make sure this event is as successful as we want it to be to me almost every, you know the fun thing this happens to me almost every christmas <laughs> every time it's time for me to go out somebody has removed the battery in the car and i can't go out because every time oh by the way this is like sun this is filmy <laughs> actually we actually just met today and we've like actually like you know had a great time and be bonding and stuff so now i'm trying to get my dad to help me fix this battery because i don't understand you guys guess what to take a taxi fire but we had to take over because car refused to start to move refused to start to move so much so we need our way to Bali and Girls guys Bali and Girls is located in VI and they sell like fried yam fried potatoes plantains roasted plantains Bali obviously they sell fish they sell chicken they have turkey so I ended up getting the what did I get I got the yam, the potatoes, the roasted plantain, and turkey. And you guys, tasted so good. And it comes with like a pepper sauce as well. So it tasted so good. I think that on its own was like about 1,750. And I didn't even eat it in one sitting. I ended up eating it twice. <laughs> 